Hello and welcome to Flock and Fern. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to do the one by one rib stitch. This is a quick tip, so we'll go straight to it. One by one rib is a knit one stitch, purl one stitch. You often see it as one X one and then the word rib afterwards in a pattern. And this is exactly how to do that. So what we've got is our stitches cast on here and we are going to take our right needle and go into the base of the first needle and stitch. We're going to go into the bottom and push it through the back. We're then going to have crossover needles like this. And we're going to take our ball end of the yarn. So the, the yarn that's still attached to the big ball of wool. And we're going to wrap that around the back of that rear needle in between the two needles. And then we're going to slide that back needle down and bring it to the front while scooping up the stitch and maintaining the tension on the ball end of yarn and then slide it off. So that's us knitted one stitch. And we're just going to adjust our tension there, um, mainly because I'm holding my needles up. So it's a bit trickier. Then into the next stitch, I'm going to purl this one. So to do that, the first thing you've got to do is bring your ball end of the yarn to the front. And this is something I got really confused with when I first started knitting. And all that means is that you bring it in between the two needles so that this ball end is like kind of facing you. So it's in between the two needles. Then this right needle is going to go into the base of the stitch at the front. And this is called purl wise. And it makes sense because it's purling the stitch. So we're going to scoop it up from the front, cross the two needles over again. And with that working yarn, the ball end, we are going to wrap it round in between the two needles. And then we are going to pull the right needle down and through and scoop the needle out again. And so we've just purled that stitch. So we've knit one stitch and we've purled one stitch. So to get the one by one pattern, what we need to do now is knit again. So we're going to put our working yarn to the rear, like so. And we're going to go into knit wise and to knit the next stitch. So it goes into the bottom, cross it over at the back, wrap the yarn round through the middle, pull the right needle down, scoop and off. And that's us knit one, purl one, knit one. So the next one is now a purl. So again, Working yarn to the front, so in between the two needles. Scoop the right needle to the bottom of that stitch on your left. And we are going to cross them over, wrap the yarn round in between the two, pull it down, scoop it off, and there we have it. Another purl stitch. So our one by one rib is now forming with our knit, purl, knit, purl. So we're going to continue like that across the rest of the row of stitches. So back to the working yarn to the rear and we're ready to knit. And slide off and to the front because we're ready to purl. There we go. Purl that one. To the rear. and purl another knit stitch and then purl working yarn to the rear again for our knit stitch and then last stitch on the needle and we're going to purl it yarn to the front into the front wrap round scoop off there we go. So we have now done our first row of one by one rib. We're going to switch our needles around. So we've got the empty needle in the right hand and our nice new one by one rib in the left. And we're going to now rib one by one rib the second row. So we're going to start off with a knit. Now you might be thinking, how do I know it's going to be a knit stitch? And that is because when I'm looking at the stitches here, this first one kind of goes straight down. But this second one has got a bit of a bubble at the bottom. And so that was a purl. That one needs to be purled. 
and that one needs to be knitted. So we are going to start with a knit stitch. So again, cross the two over, round the back, working yarns to the back, in between the two, scoop and off. And now the next one we're purling, so we're bringing the working yarn to the front and purl. And we're just going to repeat that right the way across. So knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl. Last two stitches we're going to knit and then purl that last stitch. Perfect. And then we're swapping our needles round again, ready to start our third row of one by one rib. So you can start to see you're getting this really nice texture of the knits and the purls forming. And these are great for like cuffs of jumpers and things like that. And it's very common um, pattern to use in knitting because of the kind of grippiness it gives you. So necks, the jumpers, um, hat, brims, you name it, one by one ribs out there. So we are just going to continue and I'll catch you up when we've got a few more rows on the needles so I can show you exactly how the one by one rib is forming. Okay, so we are continuing with our one by one rib. And once I finish this row, I'm going to show you how we can count the rows in one by one rib, which is a really top tip. And again, if you're looking at trying to work out which stitch you've got coming next, remember the little straight down for a knit. So this is a, a knit stitch, there we go. And the little bubble for a purl. So to the front and purl. That's it. This is a bit clunky because I'm holding the needles up, but hopefully this is showing it okay for you to follow along. Right, so we're at the end of that row. And now if we turn this round, we've got a little piece of one by one rib with this uh, super chunky yarn. And what we're going to do now is count the, um, the rows and the reason for this is that you could be knitting a piece and you've lost track or you've lost your row marker. So what we're going to do is if you have a look, this is our knit and this is our purl. The purls go in, but the knits kind of stand forward, as you can see there. So the knit stitch, the, the knit stitches are the easiest to count and they make a little V. So if you can see like there, it goes down and back up in a V shape. And each one of these is a, is a stitch. And that's how we can count the rows. So if we start, we've got our cast on edge and then we've got one V, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the one that's on the stitch counts as well. So that's 10. So that's 10 rows of one by one rib. And it's just knit, purl, knit, purl. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get a notification for every time we post something new. And if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, uh, please do give us a thumbs up. And if there's any other top tips that you'd like to see that would be useful for you, then leave a comment below. Thank you so much and happy knitting.